really excited to be here. Uh, it's been a fun, fun month, probably. I guess it is now, some somewhere like that. But um, like being here with the the staff, uh, the administration, the people of Lexington have been, you know, been wonderful to me and and uh, our family. And it's been fun, fun to be here. Uh, Mark has done an unbelievable job building, you know, a great a great program here. And, uh, you know, just being a part of it, it's, uh, it's been, you know, we've, we've looked at some of these opportunities before, it just the, the timing seemed, you know, better this time around for a lot of different reasons, but, uh, you know, really enjoy working with, you know, Coach White and the defensive staff, very knowledgeable, uh, you know, group from afar, just looking and then being here, trying to adapt uh, to, to this system has been, has been fun. And then the players have been, you know, really the thing that's really jumped out to me along with the staff is just the quality of players we have in the room, um, you know, the leadership, uh, you know, the way these guys go about the, the linebacker room has been very uh, impressive to me. Uh, and I've been a lot of different places and, and this group uh, brings a, you know, great maturity and, and focus to the game and you know, my job is to is to help them become better players, you know, maybe understand the game better and, and, and create value for them as as people and as players. I think that's our our biggest job and and to help our our defense uh, improve by, you know, having our players, you know, play better. I think they could still, you know, do things better, but uh, it's been a, a strong group of, of players thus far. A lot of them were uh, successful for uh, a lot of the recent recruits have been brought in. They, they point out the fact of how happy the players are, how they come to work, how they want to come in, they think that's going to work out. They, 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 they like to be in that. Is that, is that something that you, uh, you see here that maybe you haven't seen quite a strong old players? The, the culture is 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 very good. Uh, I I think uh, that's important. I, I think this program works hard at it, uh, developing players on and off the field uh, through relationships, uh, and then setting good examples. You know, for your players. Uh, I think um, you know this is an outstanding. You know, staff of coaches uh, that you know really relate well to the players and. And it is a new era of football, and they, these relationships are, are important. And b building a, a, a foundation with your players uh, is critical. And uh, having you know open dialogue with them, and my players have been very receptive. They've been very open. I've asked them, you know, a lot of trying to understand the system. You know why we, you know, this is, you know, why this is how I see it. Is this how you, I mean? So. You know, that's, it's very comfortable for me, and uh, I think it's comfortable for them. Uh, I think it lets them be more open, more at ease, uh, feel like they could ask questions and, you know, not feel any certain way, like it's not the right question. So you, you want them to be able to feel like they could be themselves and, and open. And, um, you know, I, I'm sure our relationships will go stronger as time, you know, goes on. But uh, been very, you know, excited about these guys. It it's it it makes it uh, you know it makes it a, a little easier and, and enjoyable and I, I lean on those guys and you know they you know they're very uh, they're very good they understand what we're trying to accomplish and in this defense and and that's a you know that's a good sign so um you know i've been like i said i, I said that i've been very impressed with their their overall knowledge their just everything about them has been it's been pretty impressive like i said i've been a lot of places a lot of strong places and and these guys have the right demeanor to be to be outstanding you know players like um lucky kentucky sports radio Spent some time in Alabama in kind of an analyst role. Just curious, why do you think we're seeing so many coaches do that, and what what uh, what do you kind of learn from that experience? Well, I you know I'm not going to you know elaborate too much on 
on Alabama. I thoroughly enjoyed my my time there. I learned a, a great deal in in football. I think you never stop learning. You better push yourselves to limits and and try to see other ways of doing things if it's better. And if not, you're gonna you're gonna die. And uh, you know it it happens to everybody. And it <laughs> you know it'll it'll catch up to you if you stay in front. And that's probably the one thing I you know, really enjoyed about my time with, with Coach Saban is just they're, you know, they push themselves to to limits and, you know, push their guys to to learn and to adjust and adapt and and uh, try to put themselves in the best, you know, situation for success. You still have to have great players and, and great design. But, um, you know, I, I think you can always learn. I, I think for me, taking a step back for two years was good. Um, you know, things got, you know, muddy that, you know, the, at, at, at Oklahoma and it, it was hard. It hurt in a lot of different ways. And, you know, I had a chance to be with coach and, you know, really just enjoyed my time there. I enjoyed learning. I enjoyed the process of they go through and what makes them, you know, who they are. Uh, so that, that made it, you know, every day was, was fun for me to go to work and it was in a limited role for for them but I never felt that way and and coach you know you (laughs) no matter what your role is it's significant to coach and um you know what he expects of you day in and day out so that part was you know was very meaningful to me and you know I just try to bring ideas uh um you know if there's a better way of doing things you know you, you you learn and, and they have certain ways they want to do things. Everyone has a style of defense they want to play. And, um, you know, there's is, you know, there's some similarities. There's a lot of differences, too. So, uh, again, um, you know, just learning different ways to do things and how to be adjustable, how to be adaptable, how to, you know, do this, do that. You know, I just learned to, I had a lot of questions and you know, because you you watch them from afar, but you still have to have your own identity as a team, and you have to not try to be somebody you're not. And um, you know, we had tried to make some some adjustments when I was at Oklahoma to adapt to some of the things they were doing, uh, but you know, it was uh, you know it was too late. And um, you know, the rest is is kind of history. And you know, like you say, I'm just, you know, grateful for the opportunity and enjoyed being around good people. I think as coaches, I think we all enjoy being around, you know, good coaches and, and good people. A lot about evolving. Oh, Nick Roush, Kentucky Sports Radio. You talked about evolving. Um, how, how have you seen Mark evolve as a coach and what made this, this time right now for you to, to join? I've seen Mark and I, I think that's part of the timing of it. Mark is his own person. We're not, I'm not his big brother, little brother. I'm, you know, I, I work, he's my boss. We are brothers. Um, we've done this before. We've done it, you know, the other way with Bob. So we, we know what it's like. We know what to expect. Um, but, you know, we, you know, I actually work more with Coach White than, you know, anybody. You know, I, I spend more time with, with Brad and, you um, you know, looking at things and him, you know, showing me how and why we do things. But, um, you know, there's still a there's still a, a brother connection. But uh, again, we've we've grown so much since the time we were together at Arizona. We're we're too much. We're two very different people than we were back then. Uh, so, you know, I think we know what to expect. Uh, some of the good things, the bad things, what's hard. But um you know, I again, I'm. You know, I like being here. I, I like being with Mark, and it's fun to be with family. But uh, you know, it's it seems like we're much. You know, we're in a professional business that uh, you know. Again, uh, we we all have um, we all have you know jobs to do, and you know, I know what my job is, and you know, you stay in your your lane and you do your job the best you can, and that's. You know, that's what I plan on doing. KY, you mentioned some of the guys coming back, a lot of talent, losing a couple of rocks, but the talent coming back, how good do you feel like this unit can be next year? It's, you know, it's, I think it was a, it was a mixture a, a year ago. I think you'll see, you know, I, I know in a lot of positions we're young in the secondary. Uh, I think you'll see a lot of growth, hopefully, you know, in that, 
in that category. I think there's some talented players. I think the middle part, you know, those inside backers are very talented. And I think our edge guys will be, you know, even better. I know JJ coming off was that coming off a knee injury, uh, watching him two years ago. And then, you know, last year, I, I think he's, you know, hopefully he can stay, you know, coming off that knee. It takes you a good year or so to, to come back to, to full strength. So, um, you know, we feel good. I, I think the young guys inside, you know, losing, you know, a couple of those those guys inside. And I thought uh, 29, uh, Euphis was, a, was an outstanding player as well. So there are going to be some tough guys. That Josh Pascal was just a unbelievable player. We recruited Josh when I was at Oklahoma. Um, just, uh, you know, I just, you know, watch him and Boy, what an outstanding player, you know, he turned out to be. So uh, I'm glad if we lost him, we at least lost him to Kentucky. Uh, <laughs> even though I won't be here so uh, with him. But, um, you know, Josh had an outstanding career. Just how closely did you follow Kentucky just because of Mark? Or was it like you watched every single game they played? How, how familiar are you with the roster before you got here? Not not overly, uh, you know. There were some there were some frustrating games I watched. I know I watched a couple Florida games that I got kind of frustrated with, but in uh, the Missouri game, uh, I remember last year after one of our games. So I, I watched a good deal. Uh, I, I would follow them pretty closely. I mean, more than probably any when I was in the conference. I, I followed it well. So I have a good background. Two years being in SEC gives you a pretty good background of who's who and, you know, what, you know, we did thorough, uh, you know, reports on all these teams when I was at Alabama. So you have a pretty good, you know, DNA of each team and even, you know, even, you know, Kentucky, you know, and I know we switched, you know, we changed a lot offensively when, when I was there, but, you know, defensively it's, we, I think we, you evolve each year, and I, I think uh, Coach White's done a good job of just evolving to the players and to the scheme and fitting it. And I, I think that's part of coaching, uh, being able to adapt to your players, what they can and can't do. And we certainly have enough ways to attack defensively, uh, you know, in, in offense. But, um, you know, I'm, I was pretty familiar with their talent. Right. Harold Burton, all right. Cash here in town. Um, I know it's your first year in the program. Do you feel like you've kind of been a part of this whole process from the time Mark got here, just through phone conversations, family gatherings, and Youngstown, so forth? I, I, well, Coach Edmund, Coach Edmund, and Coach Hill probably deserve a medal. They've coached for three Stoopses now. They've <laughs> took, they're the ones. Uh, so they, I, I, I tease Coach Edmund every day. I see him about what's going on in the weight room. I said it's a lot different than when we started twenty two years ago at Oklahoma. So um, those guys, they're the ones that really deserve all the credit uh, putting up with us all this time. So, but I, I was familiar with a lot of the coaches that have been through here, you know, whether it was Eric, Michael Smith. I mean, a lot of guys have been on our staffs before. So I had great, uh, you know, I, a great rapport with a lot of coaches, you know, on the staff and, you um, knew a lot of these guys so that that's helped the transition for me as well but um you know it's a lot of good people so yeah being mark being your brother and you know being with you and you know we have a pretty close family you have a pretty good with what vince uh getting to know vince even better has been um you know i would see him back in youngstown we would have family gatherings back there so it's always fun i played with vince's brother um you know, coming out of, uh, against him, actually, uh, he went to Wisconsin, I went to Iowa. So, so I've known Vince's family for a long time. So there's a lot of connections, a lot of, you know, roots that go back to Youngstown. So it's been, you know, it's, it's been something that's been relatively easy for me to, to, to track. Mark, I'm Mark Story from the last thing held here. I believe you were here. <coughs> 2018 when Kentucky played Georgia. And the yes, game, I was here for that game. Yeah. Decided the SEC East. Yeah. That was. When Mark came here, and you're part of Hearts, did you think you could get Kentucky, which had struggled for a fair amount of time, to that level? Absolutely. I, I think there's a lot of similarities to when we went to Arizona. I mean, we wanted Kansas State, we wanted Iowa when no one thought so. 
that's been kind of our, you know, our MO, you know, really since we've been in this business, we've, you know, we've, we've had to, you know, work hard, do things a certain way, have an edge to you that, uh, you know, gives you an opportunity to win, uh, even though you may, you know, it's not always the, the most talented team that, that wins. Uh, so it, it's, it's getting players to play, understand the rules, um, and be able to go out and have a game plan, be able to go out and execute and, and have a certain amount of toughness and discipline about yourself to, to win. And that's, that's, that'll win you a lot of games uh, when you learn not to beat yourself. And I think when we probably lost, we probably, you know I mean? I, I know, you know, turnovers or whatever, fumbles or whatever can, can really, you know, hurt you in some, some tough situations. So, um, you know, that's been his, you know, that's, that's been kind of, you know, our MO since, you know, we've started this business and we've seen it have success no matter where we've been. And we've won, you know, at, at very high levels and have people say overachieve. I don't, I don't know. I don't, I, I think we, we never went into a game where we didn't think we could win. I, I think that's important. I think players have to understand what it takes to win and, um, you know, have that, you know, that mindset. And uh, that's what we try to build in our players every day, have strong habits, have a strong will to compete. And if you do that, then you're going to give yourself an opportunity to play and play well and develop, um, you know, value in who you are, you know, as a person and as a player. And that's, that's big. That's big for us and build our players up and uh, again, I, I think they have done that and uh, feel like they're, you know, we're, we're, we're keep knocking on the door and, you know, hopefully, you know, keep improving. Uh, so we, we still have, you know, some steps to take, but, you know, I, I don't think, you know, our players are, you know, are afraid of that going into that world. I think they're excited about it and look forward to it. Let's see more. Anybody? Mark Rich was just talking about how when he was watching college football offenses, they had kind of gone back towards the NFL, away from the spread. Your family was obviously very known for the air raid when you, even when Mark started here. How have you seen as a defensive coach that challenge kind of change in the way offenses have evolved in college football? Uh, you know, when I was at Oklahoma, it was very prolific for for when I was there, Lincoln and um, whoever it was. We were, but I think when Bob some of his really good teams were more downhill, two tight ends. When Kevin Wilson, you know, I, I have to go back. I'm, I notice a little bit more of that trend now. I, I noticed it from, if you watch Georgia, if you watch any of Coach, and, you know, I don't mean Coach Saban's teams, they play a very physical brand of football. They're not, he's never going to get too far away from, even though, you know, he's going to have some of that gun, RPO, but he's going to build his offense around, you know, his players' physicality. The line of scrimmage has to win games for you. And I think that's Georgia's DNA. That's Alabama's DNA. And that's, you know, that's what Coach Coach Mark wants his DNA to be. So, you know, I, I like that. I, I think what they've done, I've watched these teams, uh, um, you know, run these offenses, and it's you know I I, I agree I, I like what these uh, what they do, they create um, you know they they create some formations that can be problematic uh, you know for you, uh, but they there's enough de deception in what they do to create you know some some vision problems for linebackers. So uh, again, I I think it's been good. I think. Uh, you know, he, he, you know, with, with bringing uh coach in here a year ago, I, I think he, you know, he, they, they caught on to something and hopefully we can just build off of it. But I, I like the style uh, and I, I like the pass game off it. I, I think it gives players a chance to be successful. Uh, it's hard sometimes to press players in these tight, snug formations. Uh, so in, in getting people off you. So they, they've done a good job, I think, with, the passing game and the running complement in each other. Mike, Mark, pretty 
shoot stuff, do you wonder how much credit you and the brothers get for how much you picked on him when you were doing Oh, shoot, he was the baby. Come on, my mom was, my mom babied Mark. Uh, and so <laughs> and she, she was, uh, yeah, you know how the littlest is. So, um, but yeah, Mark has done, uh, you know, really just proud of him, what he's been able to accomplish and overcome. It's, it's not easy. And, uh, you know, I've been in these shoes and, um, so just, just happy. We're in a, we're in a better place as a, as a, as a program and, uh, knowing that we can still improve on, on where we're at. So, you know, that part's fun and I'm excited to be a part of it. All right. we'll end on that. Thank you.